What's up guys, thanks for tuning back into the channel. Today what we're doing is we're building an 8A IRS third member for the GTO. I've been trying to think of how to bring these videos to you guys in a way that makes sense. So this is how I decided I'm gonna do it. Today's video is gonna be about us building this 8A IRS third member with uh, new parts. What I wanted to point out is you do not have to do things to this extreme if you wanna do the 8A IRS swap from Hendrix Engineering. If you wanted to buy the IRS swap from Hendrix Engineering and put an IRS uh, 8.8 in your car, you could do something as simple as uh, you could get an 8.8 out of a Mustang Cobra, like a 0304 model. They already have a limited slip differential. They already have 355 gears. They already are 31 splined axles. I need to have a built third member to show you the IRS swap. So that's what we're gonna be doing today's building. And you're gonna see some stuff in today's video that is already done to the car that doesn't really make sense, but it'll all unfold in future videos. So today we're building the third member and in the future videos, we're doing the swap. So stay tuned and we're gonna go ahead and get busy. Ring and pinion finally came in, so let's crack it open and see what this is. Uh, see what this is all about. So this is the main piece. This is the ring and pinion. The bearings. I didn't see the bearings, but. Ooh, oh, oh goodness! I should have got a picture of this beforehand, but that right there. That's the money. Everything micro polished. We're ready to put that third member together. The 355 ring gear micro polished um, by Performance Metals. Uh, we're gonna start off with putting our ring gear on our Yukon uh, Dura Grip and fastening it down with our ARP hardware. So, should be fun. I'm gonna go ahead and time lapse this for you guys. All right, so we just ooga dooga the ring gear on. You don't have to do it my way, but this is my way. Uh, so next thing we're gonna do, we can get these end bearings put on. All right, so now we're over here on the press. We're getting ready to put our bearings on. And you wanna be careful when you press these bearings not to, you don't wanna press this and bend the cage. So you wanna find something that fits this inside piece of the bearing here. So we're gonna put this down here. Line this up under it. We'll slide a thin piece of metal under there to uh, balance the load, and then we'll press it down. We're gonna do both sides, so I'm gonna go ahead and time lapse that for you now. So there's the difference between the uh, diff I just built here for this 8 8 in the factory unit. Now, another thing I wanna point out, this is out of a Lincoln Mark 8. So non-LSD, 28 spline, 307 gears, basically, in my opinion, trash. You don't need it. And just look at the difference between the two. So next thing we're gonna do, we already got our piece shimmed here. And then a good rule of thumb, if you are gonna rebuild these, is of course we took a Ford 307 gear out. I went with Ford racing gear, so we're putting a Ford 355 gear in. And for a really good starting point, use the same shim or at least the same shim thickness as what you took off of the stock unit. But take this over to the press and put that on. So I'll see you guys over at the press. All right, so what I'm gonna do, this is my new pinion, of course. My shim is in there, my new bearing. Again, you only wanna press on the inside of this bearing. So what I'm gonna do, I took the old bearing, cut the cage, got all the rollers out of it. It's a perfect fit. We're gonna slide this down over this, just like that. Flip it upside down, put it through the hole, and then we'll press the top of the pinion head down onto the bearing. All right, so we got the bearing on the pinion here. One thing I want to point out that uh, they did when they micro-polished and cryo-treated this set. You see these edges on the stock pinion are real. They come out, they're kind of flat, and these are nice and rounded off. This 
sharp point here is what would break launching the car or driving the car hard any hard any hard edge like that see that 90 or these are smoothed out so this pinion right here is gonna last a lifetime longer than this one getting ready to press the new races into the case and then i'll meet you guys back over to press with the case and we're gonna start putting these races in so we're getting ready to put the new race into the third member here for the pinion we're gonna use the old race to press it in so we'll just set that down in there since this is the exact same size we'll put that on it push us a little metal plate i like to stack this in there go ahead and time lapse us putting the races in on the inside and the outside it'll be pretty similar we'll just have a long drive uh, for the inside so but you'll see that in the time lapse Gonna reinstall our stud kit. One of the benefits to running this uh, stud kit is the thread pitch. As you can see, the thread pitch on the bottom is the case pitch. At the top, it's a lot tighter, so uh, more of a clamping surface up towards the top. So that's another benefit of running these uh, stud kits. Just wanted to throw that out there before I uh, finish buttoning these all in. Uh, give a chance to uh, show you guys the difference in the thread pitch, top to bottom. All right, so we're getting ready to mock it up here and start putting stuff together. And again, I'm just gonna time-lapse everything. Essentially what we're doing here is we got the crush sleeve in it now instead of hitting it with an impact to get it to tighten down press the uh, press it all together this here so you have your desired tension and the sleeve will be crushed and you're not beating your stuff up yeah, you're crushing now Just be snug. Should measure it in inch pounds. One more. Ooh, ooh, that up. I think I got it. That was it. I like that. Feels good. Yep. Feel that. Feels so good. You yeah. Know you got load on it. Preload. There you go. Bada bing, bada boom. Yeah, now we take it all apart again and measure the crush. And do crush sleeve eliminator. And do the crush sleeve eliminator. This package that came from Strange has these two big spacers and a bunch of little shims, three thousands, four thousands, five thousands, like that. So this is the crush sleeve that we crushed. And this is an uncrushed crush sleeve. You can see the difference. It bulges this ridge out and uh, eliminates the slack. On the pinion on the pinion there and the pinion bearings 
So what you do once you crush one, you have it the correct preload, is you take this and you measure it with a micrometer, and then you'll take your crush sleeve eliminator, and you'll keep stacking your shims in there until you get the same measurement. And so when we put this in there, this won't crush anymore, so we don't have to worry about crushing this even more, making our pinion load too tight and things like that. And this comes in handy. You break something inside the diff and you need to replace a gear or bolt or anything. Any reason that you ever need to take it apart, as long as you put the same pinion back in, the same housing, you won't have to worry about crush leaves when you're track side. So, kind of something racers like to do. Hey guys, so thanks for checking out this video of us building this 8.8 IRS third member. Be sure that you guys go ahead and subscribe uh, and hit the bell because coming up right after Thanksgiving, we're gonna be releasing more GTO specific stuff for the 8.8 IRS swap. Please subscribe to the channel. I wanna thank everybody who has already subscribed to the channel. And if you're watching this video and you haven't, please consider doing so. We're really trying to grow the channel. Like the video, leave a comment, let me know what you guys think, and we'll catch you guys next time.